Hi everybody and welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2 here with Arthur American and Roach. What are we doing in this episode? Well, I thought I'd get a long, let's get a head start on the journey. We're going down here. We're apparently going to see, at least this is what I'm signing up for, Tom O'Driscoll swing. Will it happen? Apparently he's been done twice. Like people have been caught twice before and gotten away, so maybe is it third time the charm? Alright. Let them do their thing, I guess. But yeah, that's the plan. So we're going back to Saint Denis. Back to the scene of the probably the biggest crime. And uh yeah, we wanna see our Driscoll swing, but again. Wouldn't it be nice if we just go there, it happens, he gets hung, and then we walk away, and then, you know, there's no fuss, no, 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 um, gunfights, just, just a good old fashioned hanging. Some good old fashioned family fun. I mean, I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt it. Alright, we must be in the border town, because Roach is, a. Uh, Slowing down. I was say, gonna be honest, not not really fond memories of San Denis. Or Arthur, it's been a pretty average time down here. San Denis. Bayou N W E Alley, whatever the fuck that means. I guess Alley's Le Lemoyne or whatever. Big old city, eh? Oh, she's right here. Out. We go. This is Don't you worry like about me. There you are. Here I am. Come on. Let's go. Let's go where? Why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Comb or yeah, Risco. Yeah. Uh, so. Rather they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are going to hang him. Yeah. And not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise ourselves. In this? In this. We're going as the Rosses. Rocky. Jesus fuck. Okay. Come on. Oh, it's like jolly good show chaps. Well, don't we just look the part? We'll cut through the alley to get to the gallows. We keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about us. Mrs. Adler. Might I say, being a fancy woman of Saint Denis suits you. <laughs> I'd dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch swing. Colm hung me up, nearly butchered me. That don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy, Kieran. We've all lost something because of Comb. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. Now keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. <laughs> Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you going to keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours, I miss the old Arthur. Don't we all? Hey, you two quit it. Y'all got a job to do. We're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it. 
as far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. We got a hanging to witness. Mm hmm. Skeptical hippo was here. Public love and execution. Oh, yes. This is kind of inter entertainment here you know, on a Sunday evening. Holes. Sure. The Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? I don't know. We gotta follow them to find out. Yeah. Oh, here comes somebody. <clears throat> Stay. He, he famous last words. You know who we're talking to here? Go brush this is fucking officer. quick trigger herself. Yes, sir. The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. They feel like a sniper in the building. Their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey, hey, you know I wasn't going to let it come to that. Well, I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Here and now, Como Driscoll's going to get his due. Mm -hmm. Let's turn down there. You know, believe it when I see it. Let's go quiet. What's the luck? Bunch of cops. Coming? In and off. So, what do you think? up on the roof. Once he starts shooting, we'll have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah. I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. Get to it. Yeah. We'll kill some more Driscoll. They got a guy up on the roof overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there on one of these verandas through a building maybe and get him. And do it. Well, obviously, I'm gonna do it silently. I want to see this bastard swing. All right, let's go up here. Oh, Mark. There's a ladder. Oh, fuck. Sorry. I thought it was gonna, it was gonna through the art gallery. The way up to the roof and stop him. I'll go back to Mrs. Hadler. Been up here before, Arthur. What's this then? Gun case. I think we should wait here until we see them. He has murdered, tortured, robbed. Yeah, 
Get it done. Well, you may. I've been a bad man. Silence! These charges... This are... is not a court where you shall be tried. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out. And your you sentence, Colmo Driscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. <laughs> this is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task we enjoy. But it is a task we must carry out if our civilization is to prosper. Gentlemen, are we ready? Call Modrisco. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. Do it. Now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life! God damn it. What did I say? Fucking miss trigger fucking itchy finger herself. Fucking Mrs. Adler, right? Eh? We got him. Let's just get out of here. Go. This one's eyes open. Dun dun dun. He's like a zombie. Can't kill him. Poor calm. Like, what am I saying? He tortured me. Fuck him. That's how we do. Look, we're all the way back in camp now. Well, good work, Miss Adler, you absolute psycho. Take it on, Arthur. Well, we saw the bastard hang okay, but no thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. I guess compared to the entire government, in the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? The ring? My dear Arthur. You never showed up. And now, after looking at the newspapers, I understand why. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter, but I nonetheless must send it. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams. I miss you, and I will always miss you. But I cannot live like that. And it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you, the world makes sense. But when we are apart, I see clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. I'm so sorry for everything. For everything long ago and for starting up that business again. There's a good man within you, Arthur. 
but he is wrestling with a giant and the giant wins time and again you've broken my heart again and I fear I have broken yours and for that I will never forgive myself but you must let me go now I enclose a ring you gave me many years ago when we were both young not because I don't like it but because I care for it far too much and it reminds me too much of you I hope one day you will find some people in love who can use this for it kept me thinking of you all these years and I hope by returning it to you I can finally be free goodbye Mary damn Well, fuck. Yeah, third time I get it. That's what I'm saying. About the hanging. What about Arthur and Mary, though? Shit. Alright. I'm gonna get some of this. We're done. Come on, Roach. Let's go have our friend out. After we shot up a bunch of soldiers. Hello, Arthur. Well, it was nice to see Calm actually swing. of the essence. This has got a mission now for me. Son of a bitch, Sadie. Oh, Alright, well. We're already, uh, we're already making our way over to Eagle Flies. Rainfalls? I think it's actually Eagle Flies. Shit. Well, you know this is gonna go down then. Sadie can wait. Stick up, boys. How far am I from this mission? It's all miles away.
some sacred site. This will be like the only pass through these fucking mountains because they come through here all the time now. Sunday drivers. Alright, back out the more free freelands. so much trouble I can just see it now. I kick this whole soldier of war thing off to another level. Oh, this Dutch shit. So good of you to join us. What's Fuck. going on? Rebellion. The smell of cordite. It's not going to go well. It is a beautiful thing. What are you all doing? An eye for an eye. We didn't start this, Arthur. They did. We? This ain't our fat. It surely is. Whatever it oh, is. Oh, we're getting in the middle of this. It ain't a good idea. They want you to fight. Nobody will be killed. We're just going to trap a few of them in the valley, disarm them, tar and feather them, and remind them to leave these boys alone. You have energy for pranks? Come on, Arthur. Just tweaking Uncle Sam's nose a little. I need you to help me. God damn it. Besides, it's perfect. People will see these boys. They won't notice us, and they'll think we're gone. Everyone will blame everything on the Indian problem and we'll disappear up the river. But first we need to trap them in this pass. Help me dynamite up these trees. So, you're using them? No, sir. No. Never. But it is mutually beneficial to draw attention to one problem and avail over another. These are good people, but their situation is real complex. We ain't helping them. Sure we are. Come on, let's get this done. Pick up the spool. Dynamite, you run the wire. We'll keep lookout from up here. I sent for some of that dynamite. You and Bill commandeered in Van Horn. Good work with that, by the way. Bill played drunk. The perfect man for the job. Pretty much. <laughs> that is what Bill's good at. I did not notice us planting this dynamite. So, you finally got to see Colm Hank. Yeah. After all those years, hard to believe. Oh, but it was worth the wait. See? We're tying up the loose ends, Arthur. One by one. Come 
Bandana on then. We're gonna be fucking around with the army. I don't want them to know it was me. Hurry, I think I see some movement in the distance. So this is this an herb? Looks like that's an herb, but. My spotter will let us know when they're near. They're coming now. Ah, oh, damn. The patrol's a lot larger than we thought it was going to be. <laughs> Don't worry. That's a good thing. Okay, that's the signal. Here they come. Stay low and quiet. You sure you don't want me to man that plunger, Arthur? No. I got it. Oh, remove the weight of the world from your shoulders for a minute. Like I said, we're just going to give them a bit of a scare. There they are. Looks like more than we thought. It's fine. We're only here to talk and administer a little good old-fashioned humiliation. You're owed that, son, at the very least. Wait for my lead, men. Everyone just stay calm. We've got the upper hand here. Mm-hmm. Okay. They've passed. Put your hands up. You're surrounded. Nobody need get hurt. Your humiliation of us has gone on quite enough. This ain't a good idea. Put down your guns. You are making a mistake, boy. No. You're making a mistake. Put your hands up, soldier. Take a little humiliation and leave these fine folks alone. Who are you? A concerned citizen. Is that so? What now? We should move. No, 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 not quite yet. Soldier, you and your friends gonna tuck tail and run off? Run! Excuse me? I'm getting bored of this. Your friends fired first, soldier! Fuck's sake. The father won't be happy about this. They fired first, son. You started this. There's another patrol in the rear. Looks like we got a fight, man, boys. There's a lot of them. Hold your ground. Look out. They're coming up on our left. You bastards. You damn fools, it's the army. It is one regiment of pastry chefs and bullies. Watch your goddamn mouth. All of you, take what you can, and then we move out. Move now. We have to move now. Search these men quickly, then we move. Oh, fuck. So much for humiliation. Straight up murder. Hold on, I'm coming. I'm just getting a bit of looting done. I'm done to hit it. Why are we getting out of here? We need anything my father can use to strengthen our case. I ain't sure much is going to strengthen your case after this. Find anything? Yes. Some poor fool from New Jersey. These boys ain't the problem. They're only kids. Keep looking. What the fuck was that? Shit! Everyone, keep your heads down! Dutch. What do we do here, Dutch? This is a lot of men. Dutch, hold your ground. Surrender, and they'll hang you all. Try to flank them, Arthur. They'll shoot you to the space. Yes, we need to take out that cannon. Up the hill, the cannon. Take out the spotter, Arthur. You're finishing them. Oh, 
Previously. Go. I want to use Dida just to be sure. Where's Peta? Peta's very deep. We're sending riders from the fort we need to leave. But where's Peta? Was he killed? He's alive. Well, that went just about according to plan. I'm trying. I'm trying, Arthur, with everything I have, and I will keep trying, and you'll keep doubting me, and we'll keep failing. It ain't like that, Dutch. Look at me. Look at me! I'm just... I'm worried about folk. I know. I... We should go. Where's Eagle Flash? Run, son! Run! Come on! Oh, fuck. This area is gonna be crawling with soldiers in a few minutes. We gotta leave. Now! What about Eagle Flies? We gotta go, Arthur. Come on! That's we right. He's gonna on. die. Stay with me. Oh, we're gonna ditch him. He's gonna get either killed by the soldiers or he's gonna get uh, captured and hung. And, oh, fuck. It's not good. I don't think it ends well for Eagle Flies. Left here! Into the tree! Boss, boss. Now you may be crazy. Run, Mr. Turkey. Okay, let's dismount here. We won't get the horses down this path. All right, let's carry on by foot. Try and sell them a little snake oil. You think? It's all I got. Get out of here. Yeah. Let's see if we can lose them down here. Uh, oh, fuck. I guess not. What the hell gun is that? Oh fuck, having a stand off of the army. It's not the first one I've done that. God damn it. Well, we fell off a cliff. That's how Arthur ends. Bloody hell. Try that again, boys. Let's not fall off cliffs this time. Let's not. Okay, come on. We gotta keep going. Behind us. Hold them all. Put your hands up! I said put your damn hands up! Okay! Okay! Follow my lead. I got a plan. Just want to jump off the cliff. Hello! Officers! You keep them hands up and come here. Put your hands up! Hello, Captain. Keep your hands up and come here. Come here. We, uh, we can't do that. Your man, those men they killed, they were good men. 
Oh, you're fighting nature, Captain. Get over here. Mine for you, Dutch. That's my friend here. My whole life, I tried to fight change. It's a waste. I see that. Now, it's a waste. You can't fight nature, Captain. You can't fight change. You can't fight. Gravity! I'm gonna land on some fucking rocks. Well, thanks, Dutch, for leaving me. Can we go so far away? Some shooting. Some of the rocks out there. Big ass rock there, buddy. Swim in the Dutch. You're okay. <laughs> You're okay. Uh, what a mess. <laughs> I know. But a mess is what we need. Oh, we just escaped from chaos. Eagle flies must have been taken. Taken or killed. Well, we can't go find out. No. Not now. Charles, I'll, we'll send them. Uh, where is it? <coughs> We're probably back at camp. Let's split up. I'll go tell him. You rest up. Then go meet him up at the reservation. We are going to make it, brother. I can feel it. Faith Arthur, have faith. That fucking deer again. Or stag. Shit, Arthur. What kind of mess are we friggin' made now?